Hey guys, welcome to the Two Minute Money Manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this Two Minute Answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question comes to us from Anonymous, and Anonymous has a real simple question. How do student loans work? Well, Anonymous, I got three things for you. you know, do you know how much people owe in student loans in this country? 44 million borrowers owe a collective $1.5 trillion. This is a huge amount of debt, and it's burdening a huge number of people. So thing number one about student loans, let's understand the kinds that there are. You've basically got direct subsidized and direct unsubsidized. They're called direct because you're borrowing money directly from the U.S. government. Now, subsidized means the government's going to pay your interest while you're in school. Unsubsidized means you won't have to pay the interest while you're in school, but it's just accruing. The government's not paying it for you. Now, to get a subsidized loan, you have to prove financial need. To get an unsubsidized loan, you don't. You don't have to have a good credit. You don't have to fill out a long credit application. You can get loans, which is probably why we have so many people and so much debt in this country, because you don't really have to qualify for either one of these direct loans. OK, uh, a third kind of loan is just a, a private loan. So in other words, banks and credit unions and blah, 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 they lend money like for anything else. They'll lend money for student loans. Those you do have to apply for and you have to a credit check. You also have uh, what are called plus loans. I'm not going to go into those because this is going to be a short answer. Uh, but those are for graduate and uh, graduate students and also for parents helping their kids in college. OK, thing number three is paying these loans back. As I said, I have seen so many people burdened with so much debt because the government's going like, here, take some money. Take as much as you want. But the problem is you got to pay that money back. So when you get out of school, that interest clock is going to start ticking and you're going to start paying that money back. So for that reason, how about borrowing as little as possible and paying it back as quickly as possible by paying extra every month? Now, there are programs that will help, uh, help you have a lower payment. For example, you may not have to pay more than 10% of your available income to pay back your loans. You can do that, and obviously it's gonna make it easier to pay them back. But remember also, it's gonna take longer and you're gonna end up paying more interest. So borrow as little as possible and pay it back as quickly as possible. I hope that answers your question, Anonymous, and I'll see you all right here next time.